How's it going fellow Detroit Red Wings fans? Today we are going to take a look at our prospects, specifically the European ones, since majority of our North American prospects aren't playing yet. And just to keep in mind, the last prospect we're going to talk about is actually a prospect from Dylan Larkin's draft, selected all the way back in 2014. So just to make this clear, this is as of September 28th, the time of this recording. Right at the top of the list, we have one of everyone's favorite defensemen, Albert Johansson. He's right now playing at a point per game pace with three points in three games played with Fargiston in the SHL. It's a small sample size and we all know how fast the wheels can fall off the tracks, but given Johansson was second in U20 scoring for defensemen in the SHL, only two more eight cider last year, it is a good sign to see him starting off in the right direction. So next on our list is actually another defenseman back from the 2017 NHL draft, standing at six foot three, 198 pounds according to elite prospects, Kasper Kotkinsalo has been leading HIFK's defense with five points in six games played in the Liga. It would be a great surprise if Kotkinsalo was able to make this a good year after producing almost half of what he produced last year in far, far less games. So not to make this literally just a Swedish defenseman prospect list, I want to add a forward. This player is very interesting. He was drafted this year in the fifth round of the NHL entry draft and kind of made a name for himself. Liam Dower Nielsen is a really smart player that beats his opponent with his mind. So far, he has split time between the SHL and the Junior 20 League with Frölunda, earning five points in five games played in the Junior 20 League and going without a point the one game he played in the SHL so far. Regardless, he knows he's made a good impression and just needs to keep showing how dynamic of a player he can be. We will have a video coming out on Monday taking a deep dive on Liam Dower Nielsen. So going back to defensemen and still talking about prospects from this year's draft, we have a big boy, Simon Evanson, drafted sixth overall. Now I was in the same boat as most of us after the draft, thinking Eklund would have totally been a better pick, but Evanson is okay. And let's face it, if Eisenman thinks it's the right way, about 99% of the time, he's right. Well, needless to say, Edvidson has started the season out with a bang, leading Frolunda's blue line and is leading U20 scoring in the SHL for all players, forwards, and defensemen. Now it is still too early in the season to tell. I mean, some players are still in North America with their NHL teams in training camp or possibly playing in the NHL's preseason. Regardless, the fact he is producing and his team and coach trust him to play good minutes in the SHL is a really good sign because there was certainly a lot of times last season he looked shaky in the Junior 20 League. So there is one prospect who has a fan base of his own, the young Finn, Emil Vero. Now, unfortunately, he did get off to a rocky start this season, recording two assists in eight games played so far in the Liga. With that being said, just like all the other prospects we have talked about, things can change fast. So don't be too worried. Vero has the skills and abilities to turn around a rough start. All right, so the last prospect I promised for you guys, the one I mentioned in the beginning of the video, has so far recorded 9 points and 10 games played in the KHL. Now, I'm not surprised if this doesn't ring any bells. After all, he is a 7th round draft pick, selected all the way back in the 2014 NHL draft. We are talking about Alexander Kadikin. Since he never made the move over to North America, his rights stay indefinitely with the Detroit Red Wings. So far in the KHL, this season he has 9 points and 10 games played, this after, for the most part, leading his team in the playoffs with seven points and nine playoff games, where they inevitably lost in the semifinals. The only problem with Kadikin is even though he is in the system, that doesn't always mean he's going to sign with the team. Plus, he is 27, turning 28 in less than a week from now. But still, if Eisenman can get him to come over and he performs well, and at the very least helps the team or does well and gets traded, well, that's value we didn't have before. Let us know down below who you think is going to have a good season this year. We want to hear your comments. We want to hear your thoughts. This is what Red Wing Nation was built off of. If you like this video, drop a like so we make more content that you like. And lastly, if you are a Red Wings fan, if you are a hockey fan, if you are a good person, make sure you subscribe and join this wonderful Red Wing Nation community that is ever growing. And until next time, lights on the red light district.